Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Squid King. Oh, we're doing our hands. We're doing our jazz hands. My terrible Ooh. finger. And we're going to talk about super rare games for the Switch. So this is actually pretty cool. We had a company called Super Rare Games reached Here's out the to us. There it is, Super Rare Games. Super Rare Games. And they reached out to us on Twitter and they asked us if we would want to take a look at some of their super rare games for Switch. Now, uh, for those of you who follow the channel, we actually do have a gaming channel where we play mostly Switch games, yeah. uh, mostly Animal Crossing. So yeah, we're Basically like- Basically this Clownfish TV Animal Crossing at this point. Yeah, pretty much. We're trying to branch out. We are, we need to branch out more, but they sent us a couple of their super rare games. So why are these games super rare? It's because they are games that have, I guess, never gotten a physical release before. They're digital titles and they're like super, super limited. Hence the name. Hence super the name. Rare. So something I want to point out that's really cool is all the games, they have a unique seal sticker. We have two, we have World of Goo and Smoke and Sacrifice. Okay. And out so they can see. There we go. There we go. Boom. There's both of them. Okay, so they each have their own like seal sticker and they're all different, unique to the game. Why don't you see one of those? Oh yeah, see I didn't even notice that. I didn't notice that. Yeah. Look. Okay. And look, there's the world of Google. Okay, so and they're I... all unique. And they all come with a unique, uh, basically just a big blown up version of the tiny sticker. Now, how rare are these games? Well, if you go out to their website, uh, you can see that some of these games only have runs of a couple thousand units. So, and a lot of them were sold out already. So uh, it was pretty cool that we were able to get a couple and they were shipped over from the UK. So thanks guys for reaching out. Uh, we get people reach out a lot these days. We don't take many people up on the offer, but we thought this was such a cool idea that we definitely would do a video about it. And um, I'm actually particularly excited about World of Goo because this was our first WiiWare game. Yeah. So we played this when Squid King was a wee lad. Oh, and a wee lad. A wee lad, and we're gonna play it again on Switch. So we're gonna open these, and then we're gonna do some gameplay. Okay, now we're gonna open them. I feel bad, like we're gonna have to rip the sticker. Don't rip no, the sticker. I'll, I'll try my hardest. Let's start with this one. Okay, now I've never played Smoke and Sacrifice. Neither have I. I've heard of it. I have, oh, okay, well, I don't think I can go through with this yet. Oh, stupid. no! Hang on, wait, let me. You can do it. Close the falls. Boom. Oh, there you go. Now look at that. So uh, there's actually more than just a game in these packages. It's not just like a fancily wrapped game. So let's see, we have the game itself. Mm -hmm. Oh, would you look at that game? Yeah, no, this is pretty cool because they actually get some physical packaging. And I, I am a big fan of uh, case art. I like game case art, game shells. Oh, is, this, is it gonna stick? Is your card gonna stick? The cards are sticking. Okay, there's one. Then here's the big sticker, which we will probably realistically never use, but we might find a place. I don't know. I feel bad because there's only a couple thousand of these. You know, we get so many stickers from so many companies. We should have like a board of like all the stickers that we get from places. We should. I'm gonna open up these cards. Too. Okay. The, the Smoke and Sacrifice trading cards. So I'm not even sure what Smoke and Sacrifice is. I've heard of it. It's an RPG. Uh, open world narrative driven RPG where exploiting living ecosystems is the key to your survival. Wow. Okay, that sounds... Let's see. Are you ready? So yeah. here we have this cool... It's the same on all of them. So I have no idea what these are. So there's just like the regular one. Oh, cool. Okay, so they're just like little... Oh my god, this is awesome. They're like little collector's cards. Yeah. They're like magic they're cards. They're actually like really high quality too. Uh, yeah, they are. They're very heavy. These are like magic cards. And these actually, they're not that much. Most of the games mm -hmm. on the site are like, what, 30 bucks? About 30, yeah. They have steel books, which are more expensive. But I mean, it's, it's steel books. Yeah. It's gonna be. So I'm oh, just going to like... Here, I'm going to like leave these so you can look at them. Right. Okay, that's that's actually really, really awesome. And they're just going to come um, like... Yeah, do you want to open the game and see what the see what looks like inside? Yeah, like, they have instruction manuals, or they, or uh, they normally switch games. The cases aren't built for instruction. Manuals. Yeah, they don't. Really what do is that. this? Two thousand five. Yes. Secret man. 
I used to love instruction manuals. Remember instruction manuals on games? Now the instruction manual is in the game. Now you play the game and like the first hour of the game is the instruction manual. Mm -hmm. I feel bad opening these, these up now. I know, right? Because they're super rare. Now World of Goo, this is like super exciting because I, I love this game. Hmm. Well, you see, here's the issue. The issue is I you don't have nails. I've magicked it. You've magicked it? Oh, wow. I totally didn't use scissors. <laughs> I used sheer will. And that's the magic of editing. There we go. Oh, okay. Wow. So let's see what we've got in the case. Yes. Oh, there is an instruction. Oh, map. my God. There's an instruction. And there's a map. Yeah. Okay. Well, this is actually really, really awesome. Or wait, is it an instruction manual? Or no, I think it's an art book. Oh my god. They really go all out on yeah. these. Okay, so these are these are pretty cool. Man. These are this awesome. Is, this is very awesome. This is very awesome. Okay, so this is like this kind of reminds me if you would like back a game on Kickstarter. If they ever actually made the game, <laughs> and they sent, and they, they send you a bunch of extra stuff. Okay, well this is just really awesome. And then the map is in the the case too. Yeah. So there's the cart, and uh, we're gonna stick that back yeah we're gonna we're gonna play both of these here in a little bit. Mm -hmm. But so I'm just gonna take all game. like all of these to so want to get like a panning shot of everything it has. There you go. Very cool. Okay, now let's move on to World of Goo. Okay, so I'm going to try not to break this sticker. Okay. Either. So now I have a strategy. You have to get your fingers up underneath it first. Then you, gotta... okay. you should steam it. You could steam it and that would... Yeah. Also mm -hmm. melt the plastic. It would melt the plastic. Yeah. Right. You're making like this terrified face. Because I'm afraid you're going to rip the sticker. There you go. There's okay. only like... There's like 5,000 copies of World of Goo. Okay, that was way easier than the last time. So yeah, there's World of Goo. Okay, okay we'll do a, a front. And okay. do the back. You can't stop progress. I love this game. If you guys haven't played this game, uh, classic uh, puzzle game, I guess. You have mm -hmm. to build uh, Little Inferno too, same people. They're oh, both, the same people. Yeah, they're both really good games. Yeah, Little Inferno, they actually have that yeah. uh, too. Super rare does that one too. Okay, so. so uh, why don't we do what we did before and we'll open these first. Okay, and we'll, okay so here's the sticker. Oh, let's manage the sticker. The monster. You bet, you bet the rare sticker. Oh my god, there's only 4,000 of these left. Something. 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 Okay, here we go. So yeah, we got so the, the World cards. of Goo card. We got um, a music festival. Yeah, right. Uh, Fisty's Bog. Everyone remembers Fisty. Fisty. And explode the head. Explode the head. See, See a... I never got far in this game. I'm gonna be honest. Well, that's because you were like three or four. We yeah, got but it. three or four year old me sucked. I sucked at it, and I was like goo. thirty something. So yeah. I... All okay, right. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. Just set it all out so everyone can like punch it. Oh, I magic this one too. I do. Nothing's happening over here. Oh wow! Look at that many sharpen. Magic. Yeah. Alright, watch well, you do that over the thing so it's Huzzah! Whoa! Look at that! Sausage. Oh, sausage little, little stubs. That sounds like an indie game. Little Stop. sausage fingers. Like Super Meat Boy. Yes! But this is little sausage fingers. It's like somebody should make little sausage fingers. Or don't. Don't. Maybe don't. We're gonna trademark that. You're not gonna be allowed to make it. Okay, We're gonna make go. little sausage Boom. fingers. There we go. Okay, that was the worst like plastic removal ever. Okay, okay, so now we're coming. Oh, I freaking love this game. So this one comes with an art book too. Alright. Yeah, it's an art book. This is cool though. It is cool. Because you don't see like the commercial releases, the store releases for Switch games usually they don't put this much into it. It's just like you throw mm -hmm. the cart in the yeah, pretty much box and you Oh wow, this is like a full on art book. Oh like concept sketch and mm -hmm. so okay, that's very cool. Gosh, I forgot how old this game actually is now. It's, it's a old. It's, yeah, it was the uh, first you, okay, one, game got. Do you wanna know how old this is? I remember playing this game while I think we were in a blockbuster. 
What? Maybe I'm wrong. When I was like really little, oh. I was playing it on like the OG iPod and we were inside a blockbuster. I think you might be right. And there actually was a it one. Was, it wasn't here. It, we were somewhere else. I know where we were, but it I don't want to give away. Yeah, anything. no, no, no. I think you're right. I think you're right. We were in a blockbuster video. Yeah. So if y'all want to know how old this it's game like is, I was playing years. this on the OG iPod in a blockbuster video. Oh, my God. Well, iPod. Right. Yeah, well, that, not iPod. Yeah. That, was but, that the one I had to put in the freezer to get it to work? Because the screen kept, like... Uh -huh. blinking. Yeah, it's complicated. But I put it in the freezer and it worked fine. No, but this is really cool. It has... <laughs> But we had this for WiiWare, and that See, was like the first game we got This for right here, this is the art that I'm capable of. Yeah, but look, then you can have a super rare game made. Yeah, and, right? Yeah. So, uh, very, very cool. Uh, very cool concept. So, I think we're going to pop these in the Switch. We're going to do some gameplay. Sorry, this is just really Yeah, make sure that the games, you know, actually, actually work. Yeah, that, we want to be sure that we didn't just get, like... I don't know, like a microchip with a piece of plastic. Yeah, right. Even though it's already basically just a microchip with a piece of plastic. Oh, right. Basically, is it? All right, guys. Wait, wait. I have to test to make sure this is an actual official Nintendo cartridge. Is it actual official? Were you licking it? Don't. Yep, it. that's official. Okay. All right. No, I'm serious. For those of you who don't know, I know we're trying to end this. But for those of you who don't know, oh, I know this story. Yes. Nintendo for the uh, Switch. Um, basically, they knew that little kids were going to be like, oh yeah, I want to put this in my mouth. So they covered all of the Switch cartridges with a non-toxic, nasty-tasting powder. It tastes real bad. All right, so that's how you know it's genuine. Yeah, so you know this is made by Nintendo official because when I lick the cartridge, it tastes like nasty. Okay, tastes like nasty Nintendo. All right, so we're going to fire up the Switch and we're going to play some super rare games. Oh yeah. All right, guys, so we're going to play World of Goo, which, God, I haven't played this game in like 10 plus 15 years. <laughs> it's been a long time. Oh, okay, I see. We have a choice. We can do touch screen, or we can get nunchucks. I guess I'm going with... Joy-Cons. Oh, okay, hang okay, on. I, was wondering is, how we're I gonna... have no idea how this works. I wonder how we're going to... Yeah, I wonder how we're going to play this on the Switch, because okay. yeah, I'm used to... With the Wii Remote. Hang on, I don't know if this is going to work. There we go. Pick it up. Point to the screen. Uh, hang on. <gasps> oh, on. there you go. There we go. Okay, so this explains a lot because I'm I'm used to playing it with the Wii remote. Uh -huh. Okay, so we'll play a couple minutes of World of Goo and then we'll play a couple minutes yeah. of Smoke uh, and Sacrifice. Yep. So here we are. Chapter one? Yeah. Summer. Looks, I mean, it's World of Goo. Everybody, it's World of Goo. It's an old game, but it looks pretty good, though. Yeah. I mean, everybody knows what World of Goo is. Right, so World of Goo, for those of you who don't know... Well, yeah, like all five of you. All five of you who don't know about this game, you have to build, like, a bridge with your little blob guys and get them up the pipe. You have to get a certain amount, as you can see down here. Yeah. So, I mean, it looks good. It, it's World of Goo. What do you want me to say? <laughs> it was It was when it came out. Everybody was like, this indie game is so amazing. It is good. It is a really good game. It holds up really well, especially if you've never played it before. Now you gotta get across the Ruby. Oh wow, this is, I don't really, I, I mean, guys, this might be too hard for me. It does get really hard though. Yeah. I am not playing this game right at all, but that's okay. <laughs> it's been a long time since I played it. There we go. Be free. But we have to get them all. So they just leave behind their residue. Yeah. You know what was horrifying that came out at the same time as this game? 
Mm. Squeeballs. Oh my god, Squeeballs. Squeeballs was, we actually took, it was one of the only games we have ever taken back to the store. Because Squid King was very young and we got Squeeballs and we did not know that you'd be murdering them, cooking them, skinning, skinning them, them alive. alive. Squeeballs is like the most horrifying Wii game ever made. And it looks so cute yeah. and we're like, oh, he's going to love it. It looks like World of Goo. And it's like, oh my god. All right, this uh, cave has not until been Until now. Get the albino goo balls. Okay, hang here. Here we go. I send my children. Like how they don't have any pupils in their eyes because they've been living in the darkness. Like Falmer. Yeah. You don't know what that means. No. We have to get them to the pipe. It's World of Goo. I mean, everybody knows what this game is. It's just cool to be able to have physical copies of yeah. digital games like this. Woo, I did it. Now, I'd like to see them actually really, well, see Square will do that themselves. I was going to say, you know, release some of the Square games that were digital. Yeah, very will do slowly. That yeah. Square will just remake the games in 3D from mm -hmm. now until the end of time. You know, <laughs> they'll just remake them again and again and again. We're just going to keep going. We're just going to keep playing. Yeah, World do another game. level and then we'll play some Smoke I have and no idea what the other one is. I, I've never played Smoke and Sacrifice. The I ground know. shakes. Seems weird. Cutscene. High quality. This is like some... the world of Goo Corporation is unlocked. See, so now if we go, we can go to the corporation, and we basically just see how high we can go. Goo balls are set. How nice to see them again. So build your tower of goo. Yeah, pretty much. Blah, 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 So yeah, you just keep going up as high as you possibly can. That's the whole point. Gotta get that good foundation going. Oh. Oh. It looks like you've got a little nublet going on there. Don't judge my nublet. Well, that was truly an invigorating experience. That looks like a sad fat man sighing heavily <coughs> to himself. Does it though? Yes. Because he's got the arm. And he's kind of like, huh. Oh, I don't see it. I'm getting old. Okay, we'll play one more level Flying Machine. Flying Machine. Okay. Kind of like playing with the joy cons. Some balls are lighter than other balls. What does the sign painter have to say? Open the gates and fly, monkeys fly. But don't forget about me. The music is very relaxing. Yeah, right? Ascend. There you go. But we're not done yet. It's almost as if you've played this game before. Right? Boom. Would you look at that? This has been our World of Goo <laughs> levels 1 through 4 walkthrough, in case you were somehow confused in any of them. Yeah, so. Alright. Uh, up the pipe they go. 
Yay. Yay. Okay, so now we're going to try the other one, Smoke and Sacrifice. Yeah. I don't know what to expect. Never played the game nope, before. I never even heard of it until like a couple days ago. Yeah, so it should be exciting. Let's go. All okay, right, there we go. Here we are. Solar Sail Games. Oh, thank God we beat it. We beat it already. Look at that. Okay. So I think we want to continue. Yeah, probably. Um, oh, okay. But there's a cutscene. Okay, let's watch the, the cutscene. So this looks uh, fantasy world-ish. Reminds me of Tim Burton. Kind of, yeah. But they have photorealistic faces. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Sashi, don't you hear the bells? It's time to finish for the day. Do I have to push the button? Yes, push the button. Don't you want to see your son before his ritual time? Son? He looks like he could be his son. <laughs> of course I do, but I thought that was a kid. That's the spirit going back to the village with you. I can't wait. Go to the village, Sashi, and smoke and sacrifice some things. Yeah. Because that's what this I game... I know nothing about this game. Find your house and, and collect your son. Okay. We have to go back. Is something to... bad going to happen because it's smoke and sacrifice? I don't know. Where it's is... like Avatar. There's. Yeah, doesn't it? Okay, where is the village? Um, I'm assuming this is the this village. This looks village-esque. You just have to Where find... is our house? They should have a big arrow that says Europe. Ah, there we go. That's not a house. That's a magic it's... pipe tree. It's a light bulb tree. Oh, there, that guy wants to talk. Father Telemac. Hello, Sashi. I hope you're looking forward to your son's ritual. I hope nothing bad happens. Presided over a hundred of these, and they still fill me with joy. Okay then. Okay. This, this here is we gonna go. be a this is gonna be a time investment, I think. Yeah. This okay. game is gonna be a longish a longish house. house. Nice house, it's not wait, mine. Wait, wait, what do you say? Red shrine next. Oh, this that one. house with that red shrine. Uh, let's talk to the villager. There you are. Leo's just woken up. He's been good as gold all day. Now he wants his mother. He's waiting in the house. As I'm sure you can hear. I can't hear. I hear him. That's just... not a house. That is a tent with a baby in it. <laughs> that is. That is. That is a manger. Is what that is. Oh, now we have a baby. There. Did you sleep well? Yes, you did. I, I have a bad feeling about this. Maybe, uh, I don't know anything about this game, but I'm already filled with dread. We've yeah. got Happy Village and a baby. And it's he called Smoke how he'll and Sacrifice. There, that's better, isn't it, little one? We'll get that kid back to that person for that thing. Yeah. Because that's what you got to do. Okay, Father the Telemac. sun tree. We already saw him, but there he yeah. is again. Homegirl looking like a gelfling. Yeah, I know, right? They look like gelflings. Okay, here we go. Ah, you ready to begin the ritual? Good. Is it circumcision? That could be... Uh, that could be painful. Smotherk. To Sm summon Sm the congregation. Smotherk. Smotherk, Smotherk, or whatever. Whatever. Okay, here we go. Whoa. Um, this seems awfully complicated for a village of like six houses, <laughs> one of which being a tent. What? Whoa. Okay. Wow. They're going all out. Now we're in like a World of Warcraft dungeon. Yeah, we're going all out here. I don't know what's going on. Uh, Ready, Sashi? Very good. Let us begin. Just going to toss that kid in the, the okay. lava pit. No. <laughs> once, once more, we gather in the warmth of the sun tree. Oh, I think we're inside the sun tree. Oh, we're inside the sun tree? I okay. think so. It's bigger on the inside. Yeah, a little bit. The bright of the firstborn. Okay. This is world building, lore. His day fades once more in the night. We beseech him. Hold us ever within your gaze. Let it never flicker. Let our 
sacrifice be accepted and your blessings continue. This is not going to end well. I, I think they're. I think so. Sashi, mother of a babe without name, presents him in humility. Oh, Sashi's a, a girl. And gives him unto you with gratitude, devotion, and love. Oh my God, I was joking. I think they're gonna they're gonna sacrifice the baby. Oh my God. Oh my God. When you're ready. Place the baby on the old. I don't know if I want to play this. Oh well. Okay. Guess I have no choice. We're gonna sacrifice a baby. That's how you start. Oh my God. There's a laser beam. Uh. Uh. Okay, bye. <laughs> oh my god, they're Oh my god, they're going to zap the baby. Oh my god. Don't cook the baby. <laughs> oh my god. They just cooked the baby. <laughs> the sacrifice was accepted. The sun cycle continues. Oh, crap. Through the gift of this nameless child, we profess our faith. What the crap? Great sun tree, long may your merciful blessing rest with... Oh my god, they just cooked the baby. Yeah, that's my reaction too. Just, what? Ellipses. They knew your name was Leo. Couldn't they have given you that much? Oh, okay, we're fine now. Eh, whatever. Morning yeah. is over. Oh my god. I wouldn't have... I mean, to be fair, anyone who dresses like this can't be making good life choices. Yeah. Wow, this game's dark. That was fast. I was expecting I was expecting like farming and um, you know, killing some dragons or orcs or something. Uh, I didn't expect to start the game by by cooking your baby. Yeah, no, that's that's like Sims. Uh, all right. Well, I'm sure this game, uh, you know, it gets it gets better. I'm just going to grab this box here and see what's going on. Well, I guess... We oh, it tells you right on the back of the box that you cooked the baby. Oh. It says, after, after sacrificing her firstborn child to the sun tree, Sashi discovers a darker, a darker secret beneath the aura of priestly benevolence. Will she discover the truth hidden in the secret underworld or perish in its swirling... Deadly smoke. Oh, well, let's continue because we haven't had any gameplay yet. Yeah, well, this is a huge time investment. and Yeah, uh, and this is just one video. Yeah, this is just one video. But the game uh, looks good. Yeah. Uh, you know, that, that, that baby zapping magic, that was that was some high quality. Um, okay, so, like, do we just leave now? Are we just... Yeah, we're out of here. These guys are crazy. Uh, okay. Sorry, your baby got cooked. Psst, Sashi over here. I'm gonna find you some other kids. You can get them cooked too. Hey. Who are you? Why have I never seen you before? Never seen me? Hmm, I remember you quite well. Saw you up on her dad's shoulder when you were little and. Well, this she seems... got over the dead baby pretty quick. Yeah, right? Wow. This game's dark. Traded, I tra I've traded in this village for longer than you've lived, child. Just like to go traveling from time to time. There's nothing out there. How do you survive? The pug bears manage it, don't they? But that's beside the point. What? That's of pug bears. I don't know. I don't know. We um, saw them on the card, I think. Maybe. Is that what the teddy bear is? No, I think it's that giant thing on the ball. Oh, that thing! Yeah. That, that's a pug bear. Okay. It all stays the same. Ba -ba 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 -ba. They all depart in sorrow. Oh, you named him, didn't you? Oh, you never named the sacrificial baby. Y yeah. Wow. Leo, it's fine. Little name for one who will never grow up. Oh, Holy God, crap. this game's depressing. We're like, come on, like, we're like five minutes into it. Yeah, I think we're, I think we're good. Take the pendant. Take the pendant. Take the pendant. Take the pendant, go, go. Put your mother love into it. This is like really, really bleak. Wow. I mean, I guess that's the point, but still. That went smoothly. I'm, sh I'm sure. Smother thought she might make trouble. Never know how they'll react, huh? 
do you think that Boyle thrived down there? He seemed a little sick. Oh, did he not get cooked? He might be alive. I hope so. We can't afford to lose too many. Oh! Oh, maybe the game's not... They're talking as if Leo's still... Huh? Where'd you... They didn't... They didn't cook the baby. They, they didn't cook the baby. They, they chicken little the baby. They chicken little the baby. <laughs> Why is that what I go to? They chicken little the baby. They teleported the baby to the nether realms. So that must be the plot of the game. Hey. Because that would be depressing if that was... the Lay people may not linger on the temple's grounds at night. Gotta get your... Your... Your dead baby back. God, that's not really the plot of an RPG I expected. <laughs> no, I don't know what I expected. Oh my god, seven years. Seven years later. She still looks sad. Sashi, don't you hear the bells? It's time to finish the day. Did you have another baby yet? We gotta, gotta have some more babies. We cook the babies. Oh, have we done a full day? Wait, what's going on? You getting some funny ideas? Uh-oh. 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 What just happened? It was day and now it's night. Is this like City of Ember? I think so. I was literally just thinking that. Really? I was thinking City of Ember, mm -hmm. too. Yeah, it's then the giant mole's gonna come or something. That's all I remember from that movie. Was that like, happened? I don't think that you know, happened in the books. In the movie, there was a giant mole. Because they needed a set piece, because the books were the book slow was basically just a bunch talking. of kids running around sewers for like two hundred pages. Well, that might be what this game is. We don't know. Oh no, the sun tree's forsaken us. It's because you crop, kill. crop. <laughs> if it wasn't for the sun tree, we'd all be dead. Well, this is interesting, but this video is kind of getting long. Yeah, I don't think anybody wants. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go Google this game. I'm assuming your quest is to get your dead baby back. Probably. Which, which is a pretty compelling quest, but it's very sad. But yeah. the graphics are pretty. Yeah. Uh, so again, super rare games. They make uh, games that are super rare, and they yep. send us these games. And uh, it's very cool of them to do that and go check it out because these games sell fast. Like they just had one drop yesterday, and it's almost gone already. Mm -hmm. I forget what it is. Something something rocket ship, but like it, it's almost gone. So you have like a couple of days sometimes to get these. I think I think we're gonna I think we're gonna pick up Little Inferno though. We should pick up Little Inferno. Yeah, we should. Get, I like Little Inferno. Little a lot. Inferno is pretty cool. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Yeah. See you later. Bye.